Greetings everybody. I am Shujat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Shujat and in this video we are going to talk about USMLE in complete detail. How to apply eligibility criteria and when to apply each and every detail. So this is a very useful video for all of you. So stay tuned. So in USMLE, United States Medical Licensing Exam. We have some pre-requirements which are basically your university is definitely going to be listed in World Directory of Medical Schools and you have to get transcript from that medical school and you have to pass the TOEFL test which is an English proficiency test. You can apply in third, fourth and fifth year in students era of your medical life, of your university life. So first step to apply is apply for ECFMG identification number and then after identification number apply for ECFMG certificate and here you have to pay some dollars for it. For ECFMG certificate fee is $150 plus delivery surcharge. In the same way we have when we open ECFMG website we have IWA section which is indirective web application. So you have to download form 186 from that IWA section and you have to fill it and then sign that form from Vice Dean or Dean of your University and send to the ECFMG. After sending that form to the ECFMG, you are going to apply for USMLE. Now talking about the steps of USMLE. USMLE has basically three to four steps. But we are talking about first USMLE step one. It is an eight hours long exam having seven blocks 40 questions in each block and 60 minutes for each block total questions are 280 and passing or qualifying score is 192 and after 2020 they have shifted that passing score into just pass and fail criteria to avoid any mismanagement in step 2 so step 2 is basically divided in two parts CK clinical knowledge and CS. So in CK we have one block of 60 minute total 350 questions passing is 209. We have basically clinical questions from pediatrics and other subjects of this sort. In the same way in CS we have to appear in CS before proficiency language test. We are given 12 patients in CS and we are going to examine these patients and assess that these are the disease in that patient. Talk about USMLE step 3. It's basically a matching of hospital and university scorecards and transcripts. In step 3 we have two further sub steps. One is on day 1 and the other one is on day 2. On day 1 we have a test which is comprising of 6 blocks each having 230 questions and time is 7 hours. On day 2, we have 180 MCQs in dividing 6 blocks and 13 case assimilations we also have on day 2 in step 3. After completion of step 3, we have interview in which we required application, step 1 and step 2 passing, letter of recommendation from any doctor of United States and letter of motivation written by the student. After passing this, we are going to apply for residency. No talking about that how much we have to spend for this USMLE exam. So basically $160 according to the ECFMG website is ECFMG certification fee. Step 1 fee is $985. Step 2 fee is $985. Fee surcharge for testing region is $90. J1 visa sponsorship is $370 and certification verification is of $60. So these are the total that we have to spend on this USMLE exam. Talking about the TOEFL test, which is an English proficiency checking test, is divided in three parts. First is reading, in which 30 to 40 questions, we are given 54 to 72 minutes for that. Second is listening in which 28 to 39 questions and we have 41 to 57 minutes in that. After that break and then speaking in which four tasks are given and we have 13 minutes to complete these. 
190 dollar is the fee of this test united states clinical experience is divided in two parts first is internship and sub internship and second is clinical and research guys this is our basic information from my side that i have to provide you about this test and his criteria hope you all will get it and will have bright future and my prayer is also that you have bright future so don't forget subscribe medicos lectures by shujaat thank you so much